Hey guys, here we, here we have a 2022 Kodiak Cub. This is a 196BH uh, model. We'll start up front. You have your tongue jack, electric tongue jack up here. Uh, you have up and down. And then right here, there's a little light if you're hooking up when it's dark. You have your safety chains, uh, your seven way uh, plugs right here for your lights and brakes. And then this is your breakaway cable, which is an emergency brake, pretty much. Uh, if this ever came unhooked from your tow vehicle. Uh, this cable is connected to a pin right there. And that'll pull out and lock up your brakes. You have a 12 volt battery up here. And you have a battery disconnect right here. Uh, so right now it's on. And then you can turn it off. And that'll just save your battery. Uh, if you're not able to plug in and it's um, parked at home for a while. Then you have your propane tanks. You have two 20 pound tanks. And this top cover right here, you can flip up to turn them on and off. That way you don't have to take the cover off every time to turn them on. Um, and then underneath, there's a little bungee cord that just holds the tank on. Uh, there's a little tab on each side that it connects to. Uh, so right here, this is your regulator. And there's an arrow pointing to what tank is drawing from. Uh, you can have both of them on. And whatever tank is drawing from, if that one goes empty, the valve inside will automatically switch over to the other one. Uh, but I recommend using one tank at a time. That way you know which one's empty and what one's full. <clears throat> right on to this side uh, you have your storage compartment and there's magnets to hold open the door for you nice pass through storage your power cords in here on the other side you have your uh, little portable flat top grill <clears throat> Then you have your water heater right next to it. And this is a gas and electric water heater. Um, and the switches are inside, so you don't have to come out and light a pilot or anything. Um, it's all electric ignition. All right, then you have the little slide right there. Uh, you got the vent for the fridge is right here. Um, it's just where it vents and where we have access to service it. Uh, you'll never have to go back there. Below that, this is the exhaust for the furnace. Just make sure nothing's leaned up against it. And if you are using it, uh, be careful of rubbing up against it. Uh, cause that gets pretty hot. <clears throat> then this is where your power cord will plug into. This is a 30 amp unit. It's a regular 120 volts, but it's just basically running off a 30 amp breaker um you can get an adapter to go down to a regular household outlet which is about 15 amps um and that'll help keep your battery charged if you're at home uh you can cool your fridge on electric um the only thing you can't run it is the air conditioner when you're doing that because that requires the full 30 amp service um if you try running at home, it will get the cord hot and end up burning it. Uh, so don't run the air conditioner when plugged into an adapter. Then you have your water hook up here. Uh, your city water is right here. And that is uh, where you'll hook up if you're at a campground. And that'll give you direct water to all your faucets. Next to it is your black tank flush. Uh, so when you're dumping your black tank for the last time, uh, you can hook up your water hose and it'll just flush it out for you. Then you got your cable and satellite hookups there. And then your sewer outlet is down here. Uh, so this one is your gray tank and it has a gray handle. Uh, that is your sink and shower water. And then on the right is your black tank with a black handle. And that's your toilet water. You'll... Leave these closed while using it. 
um, and there's a monitor panel inside. Once it reads full, then you'll come out and dump your tanks. If it's your last dump for your stay, if you're staying for like a week or longer, <clears throat> you might have to come out and dump your tanks a couple times, and it doesn't matter what or which order you dump it, because uh, your gray tank might fill up quicker than your black tank. Uh, but if it's your last dump for that uh, stay, pull the black tank first, let that empty out, uh, and if you want, use a black tank flush to flush it out uh, so it's clean for the next time. Once that's done, close it and then open the gray tank and the gray water will uh, flush out your sewer hose. Uh, that way it's not leaving a mess inside of that. Alright, uh, you have the back, you got your spare tire, uh, your bumper is right here and this little plastic cap comes off and you can store your sewer hose in there. Uh, you got a dummy for a backup camera. And then you have a little spray port right here. Uh, and this is cold water only. Uh, if you need to rinse some things off. And on the door side, uh, you got a switch back here. And this is for your stabilizer jacks. Uh, so you just have extend and retract. And these are only made for stabilizing. So don't try and level the unit with them. Uh, you'll have to back up onto blocks to level it side to side and then once you unhook Use the front tongue jack to level it front to back And then once it's leveled and you're all set you'll just hit extend um, And if you want you can put blocks underneath them so you don't have to have them go down as far uh, But once they're hitting the ground or the blocks um just hold it for another second just to put a little pressure on it. You'll kind of hear the motor wind down. Um, and once that happens, just let off the switch and then you're all set to go. Uh, right here, you have a little bracket. Uh, and so you can set the little flat top grill right here. And there is a propane connection right here and it's a quick connect. Uh, so you'll take the hose that comes with it push this black coupler in, stick the hose in, connect it to the grill, and then you'll just turn that valve and that'll draw from the propane tanks right up front. And then you have a dust cap you wanna make sure that's on when you're not using it. In here, you just have a little fridge. All right, uh, you got a TV mount here, so uh, you could bring the TV outside, set it there, and then you got the cable hookup for it, and you got outlets. Next to that, you have your fresh water connection. Uh, so there's a portable water tank on board, so if you're dry camping, uh, you'll have water with you. And this is just gravity fed, so before you leave for your trip, uh, you'll stick your hose in here at home, uh, and then just let it fill up. And the drain for that is right here. And it's just a little valve uh, that you turn to either fill it or drain it. <clears throat> Up here, uh, this is the vent for the stove top. Uh, there's just a little flap in there that snaps open and close. Uh, you wanna make sure that snap closed while traveling or not using it. That way no water or bugs get up in there and then if you're gonna use the fan inside, you wanna make sure that's snapped open. And this is the other side of your storage compartment. Uh, so here's that uh, flat top grill right here. Uh, you got that hose for the quick connect. Uh, there's two cranks here. That smaller one will be for the front tongue jack. Uh, if the fuse blows, um, or if you're just not getting power, uh, you can crank it up by uh, hand. Uh, then that bigger one will be for your stabilizer jacks. And you'll go on the other side and there you'll see a little spot to put the crank. Um, that way if those stop working for some reason, uh, you'll still be able to crank them up and down. And the switch for the front tongue or stabilizer jack is right here. 
it's the same as the rear <clears throat> then you have a couple of switches uh, so this one is for this LED strip in here that one is for you have a couple front lights there's some on the other side right there too and then this last one uh, you have lights next to each stabilizer jack that way you can light it up if you're setting up at night or just for some ambient lighting at the campground at night and then this is prep for solar charging uh, so you can get a portable solar panel plug it in right here and it'll keep your battery charged if you do a lot of dry camping and you're not able to be plugged in all right now we'll go inside all right so walking in uh, to the left you have your control center right here uh, with all your switches uh, so you have your ceiling lights here you have porch lights which is this led strip under the awning you have uh, this electric and gas switch is for your water heater. Um, so you can either have it on electric when you're plugged in or gas. Uh, then you have a water pump switch and that you will use if you're using your fresh water tank. Um, and if you're hooked up to the city water, you don't have to worry about that. Then you have your awning switch. Uh, so you just have in and out and you press and hold it. You wanna make sure the door is not completely wide open or else it'll hit on the arm. Um. And with these, they don't stop on their own, so you have to watch it while rolling it out. There's gonna be a balance that will fold down. And once you see that, you just let off the switch. If you do keep pressing it, it will roll it backwards. Uh, usually it doesn't cause any damage, uh, but you just don't wanna take that uh, chance. Uh, it's brand new, so it's a little sticky. Yeah, it's gonna fold down, but anyways um so you'll the valance will fold down and probably right about there is when uh it's all the way out and then on each arm you have a spot right here you can pinch these together and pull the arm in and what that does is put a tilt on the awning that way if it's sprinkling out uh, the water will run off, uh, but if it starts getting really windy or if it's downpouring, you want to make sure you roll your awning in. That way no damage is caused to it. The last one is your slide, so same thing, in and out. And this, you just press and hold it until it stops. So that's all the way out uh, and that's just your dinette seating uh, the table you can fold the legs down and put on those blocks right there uh, and put the cushions over it and then you got uh, more sleeping space uh, you got your bed right here and you got a small little hanging closet space you got a shelf here cabinets up there and then you got lights above the bed with just a push button in the center. You got TV hookups up here with another mount. 
then you can lift up the bed and you have access to the front storage and you got storage underneath each bench there then you have the kitchen area you got your sink uh, with a nice little cover it also acts as a cutting board and you have a light right here then you got your little two burner cooktop and this just folds up like that and this does have a built-in sparker so you push in the knob and turn it uh the tanks aren't on so it's not gonna light um and then you got a little light to light out the knobs and then before you fold the cover down you want to make sure these are completely cooled off And then right here you have a little charging station. Uh, you got a couple outlets and USB ports. All right, you got storage underneath uh, and you got a portable Bluetooth speaker. It's also FM, AM radio, a couple drawers. And then in here is all the um, appliance manuals. And some more storage up here, and then your microwave. <clears throat> then over here, uh, this is the thermostat, and this controls your furnace only. Uh, and this one's really easy to use. You only got one lever, uh, so you flip it on, and then you can put it to whatever temperature you want. And then make sure it's clicked all the way to the left uh, to turn it off. This right here is to control the vent fan right there uh, so you can open the vent and all you do is just press it and it'll open automatically and it'll stop when it's done all right and then you can turn the fan on and then you can adjust the speed of it and then if you turn the fan off it'll shut off and close the lid Then this right here is your air conditioner and the controls are right here for it. Uh, so you have your temperature control here. And then this is your fan speed right there. And then the vents, uh, with these open, uh, it's dispersing the air throughout the unit. Um, or you can open this and close these and it'll blow directly down. Or you can have them all open. <clears throat> All right, <coughs> you got your fridge here. And this one's really easy to use. You only have one button. It's an automatic fridge. Uh, it runs on gas and electric. Um, so you turn it on, it looks for electricity first. Uh, if you're not plugged in or lose power overnight or during the day, um, it'll automatically switch to gas which is this orange light, uh, which means it's running on gas. If it's running on electric, it's green. And then if it turns red, it means it's not running on anything, which either means you're not plugged in, you lost power, or your propane tank's not on, which now it's red because the propane tank's not on. So then you just press and hold it, turns off. And then you got these little levers right here you press down. So you got the fridge here, and then the freezer up here. And then you got some storage here, a lot of shelving. And then this is the furnace, and this, it only blows the hot air from out here. And then next to it is your converter, which just has all your fuses and breakers. And then behind is your two bunks here, which have windows, and each one has a light and USB ports. And last but not least is the bathroom. Uh, so you got your sink there, uh, your shower tub here uh, with a nice little skylight. And then your toilet has a little foot pedal right here to flush it. 
This light switch is to light up uh, around the medicine cabinet. Got a couple towel hooks. And this one has a vent fan in here as well. Uh, but this one you have to crank up manually. So with that knob. And then the on off switch is right there. And then this light is a motion sensor light. Um, and I can't remember which setting is motion. But you have uh, one and then two. And I can't quite remember which way is the motion uh, sensor way. Um, but you'll be able to figure that out. Uh, then you got lots of storage for towels and toiletries and more storage under here. And then you have the main GFI breaker right here. Uh, so if that, um, if those, uh, outlets trip, uh, that's where you reset it. Uh, so that is everything to do with the 2022 Kodiak Cub. I hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you for shopping at Mackelson RV.